Okay, so we went from the Garden of Eden all the way to where we are today. And just in the beginning, you have the serpent trying to get through Adam through Eve. And he's using those same tactics from the beginning all the way to today. To get, to knock Adam and Eve off of their righteous place as kings and queens under God's rulership. Okay. So I'm really going to be talking about Moses in the Exodus and Martin Luther King in his Exodus from America. In Jeremiah 29, the children of Israel were in exile, in slavery, in bondage, in Babylon. There's a verse, Jeremiah 29, where God tells these Israelites what they are to do while they are in bondage, in captivity, serving other people. He tells them, build houses, be fruitful and multiply, give your sons and daughters in marriage. He says, pray for the peace of the country you live in, because if they prosper, you will prosper too. Notice how he doesn't tell them, pray for the destruction. Burn the city down. Ride in the streets. Wish havoc on your neighbor. No. He says, pray for the peace of the city. Because if it prospers, you will too. Okay? So just... How in bondage, the same rules apply as when you we are sovereign. Be fruitful and multiply. That's the same thing that was told to us in the Garden of Eden. Be fruitful and multiply. So whether you are in bondage or freedom, you're supposed to do what you do, children of God. Because in darkness and light. We are still the lights. Okay. So even when Moses led his people out of slavery and they get to the promised land or, okay, now they're in the wilderness. These people started, the Israelites started building idols, worshiping the golden calves. They were starting to do things that they used to do back in Egypt and when they were in slavery. They're like, Moses, why did you lead us here to this wilderness? You trying to get us killed again? So even though that they were free, they still were tied to their people who had them in bondage. Even though they were free, they just got free. But they forgot about the God, the mighty God that freed them from bondage. Okay? Just how many black people are today. Martin Luther King, that was, what, 1960s? It wasn't too long ago. But we're so quick to forget the God that freed us from slavery. That freed us from these wicked people. These wicked laws. Jim Crow era. We're quick to forget that we were in chains. Okay.
We're quick to forget that. But we've had our Moses as well in modern times. We're just quick to forget. We have so much freedom, okay? But all we're doing now is what? Idolatries, making golden calves in the wilderness. Because you're scared of your own freedom. You don't have faith in your leaders. You don't have faith in your God that just freed you from captivity. This mighty God that freed you from Egypt? Goodness. Okay. From Babylon? From America? So wherever you are, lost children of Israel, God has you right where he wants you to be. He has you right where he wants you. If you're in America, that's where he wants you. If you're in Puerto Rico, okay. If you're in Brazil, If you're in Europe, you're in the UK. If you're in Africa, that's where he wants you. To be a light. This is why we uphold our men and our women, okay? Because though we are in fucked up situations, we're still called to be examples. The world still looks up to you. It don't matter you outnumbered. That don't matter. You in slavery, you poor. That don't matter. You're the light of the world, of the universe. So don't ever think people aren't fighting for you. That's what the devil wants you to think. Don't ever think God ain't fighting for you. Don't ever think you're just alone in the darkness. God was there the whole time. When you was in Egypt, Assyria. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they were in that furn that burning fiery furnace, Jesus was right there with them. God was there with them, and they made it out that furnace. When Daniel was thrown into the lion pit, the lions didn't touch a hair on his head, because God was with them. So whether, like I said, whether you were in Assyria, Babylon, America, the UK, God is right there with you. You are the light of the world. And people are fighting for you. People are rooting for you. You have great ancestors and you have a great future and a great presence. Okay. You hear that? That's the revolution. You hear that?
That's the sound of revolution. Listen. Okay. Because JoJo just quit his job for the revolution. Jessica just got fired for the revolution. KJ just slapped somebody upside his head for the revolution. Jackson stopped drinking soda for the revolution. If you could listen, you hear the revolution going on all around you. That's the sound of revolution. Y'all hear that? 